The grass is green and the Irish spirit is here in the air. There's great food, there's great drink, there's all kinds of stuff for the kids to do. Great entertainment behind me. And I think I see a helicopter coming. We are here at the first annual Niagara Irish Festival. Fantastic, yeah, we've had a huge turnout. We've been blessed by the weather, and that's always encouraged people. Uh, last night was a tremendous success. Candlelight here, and, uh, and everybody singing along and being happy, and you can't get enough of that. So today, it's just more of the same, and more energy, and more dancing. It's got a real good feel to it, too. It, I almost feel like I am in Ireland here today. Yeah, it's great. That's part of the idea. You know, one of the uh, songs we did last night was, I do not live in Ireland, but Ireland lives in me. And that's the spirit. It's the spirit is to, to share happiness through music and, uh, pr you know, with, with everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us about the, the non-profit organization. None of this would be possible here today without the hard work that you're doing. Yes, Irish Music Niagara was founded in November of last year. And um, initially, the, the original goal was to share share happiness through music by encouraging people to collect together in at one spot every Sunday where we would play music. And we did that in Doc McGilligan's, who was one of the sponsors of this event. So it became so successful. Every week we, we gather between 1.30 and 4.30 in Doc's. And we were singing um, Irish music, uh, folk music, and playing old Irish tunes. And it became so popular. Then we said, hey, let's do a festival. And this is what happens. And that continues after the festival. You, I've seen you in St. Catharines and Niagara Falls continue. So if people are interested, they go to your website and find out more. Yes, they can. They can go to uh, irishmusicniagara.com and we'll be there every Sunday, um, every Sunday at Doc McGilligan's after the long weekend. So take them one weekend after this and then we're coming back and we're going to go straight through to Christmas. So every Sunday there, 1.30 to 4.30. You don't have to be a great musician. A lot of people who turn up are saying, hey, I'd like to give a go. I haven't picked up the mandolin. I used to play the guitar. And they're welcome and you, you know, it's welcome to everybody of every nationality and background. How does it feel finally to be at the Niagara Irish Festival? It feels great. It's fierce hot over here though. We don't get this kind of weather in Ireland. You've come from a long way, haven't you? I have. You? I've come all the way from Ireland, yeah. And yeah. what, are you, what are you looking for uh, forward here today? What do you want to enjoy? I'm looking to forward to meeting a few more leprechauns and a few lucky charms maybe. And uh, I should maybe a pint of Guinness won't go astray either, you know. There you go. <laughs> yeah. My name is Declan James Getty, yes. And I'd like to welcome you to the Niagara Irish Festival 2023. <laughs> This is a great festival, great turnout. You were performing last night, you're performing again. Where do you see this going in the years ahead? Uh, I, I believe that this has the opportunity to grow to something that's comparable to the other festivals on the other side of the border. In the US, we have in Buffalo two Irish festivals and both of them, and another one in, in Lockport, and they have up to 25,000 people at them. So our vision is to potentially grow this to, to that level. Why not? Canada is just as good as the United States, not better, in my opinion. So. Uh, we love to make it a, a real success here. Can you leave us with a little uh, a limerick or something to make us feel lucky here today? Uh, <laughs> uh, let me see. I, I can give you. I'll, I'll give you a, a small song. Uh, I'll give you a small song that's, that were requested by the parents of Paddy Tracy, the other co-organizer of, of this. Uh, eventually, he's from Galway, and in Galway they love the song "The Fields of Athenry." So I'm going to give you a small verse of that. No lie the fields of Bath and Rye, where once we watched the small free birds fly. Our love was on the wings, we had dreams and songs to sing. It's so lonely round the fields of Bath and Rye, and the fields of Fireman's Park as well. <laughs> The weather was great in Fireman's Park this weekend in Niagara Falls, and this is the first annual Niagara Irish Festival. I can't wait to see next year. Looking at the turnout, there will be a next year. I got my good luck charm, so I'm good for the year, and I'll be right back here next year. Reporting for The Source, 
I'm Bob, top of the morning, afternoon, Romeo. Hey.